so we're just out doing a little walk. Um, just gone over Rosebridge Topping and heading over to Captain Cook's Monument, which is just on the horizon over there. Um, so it's been a week since I did the uh, the 55k ultra. I hadn't uh, done a video. I kind of like I was trying to. I was a bit tired on the on the Sunday, just gathering my thoughts. And um, I've took I took a, a, an entire week off running, and uh, we did a park run yesterday. My friend Christian's visiting from Austria, so we took him to do his first park run, and we did it at uh, Cotsford Field Park Run, which is between Sunderland and, and Hartlepool, just on the coast. Um, and it was nice, it was great to get my legs going again and uh, coincidentally there was another person there with the, the same uh, the same t-shirt, the Amberside 55 t-shirt and considering 346 people finished that 55k race and there was only 40 or so at the park run uh, yesterday it was quite uh, bizarre to see someone in the same t-shirt so I had a good chat to him afterwards and. Uh, just summarised our thoughts about the event, and uh, uh, it went it went pretty well actually. Uh, it took 11 hours 15 minutes, which is five hours longer than I've ever, ever ran before. But it was great to see like you got to see like similar people going uh, going to and to and fro. You were always like overtaking the same people, and then they'd overtake you back. Uh, so you spent like almost the entire race with the same people, uh, little conversations and chats and it was pretty fantastic actually, I'm so glad that I got round and managed to to do all of the 55k which, which uh, turned out to be uh, 50, 58k in the end. So. Having not done an ultra before, it's just nice to kind of get into your head what that feels like. Uh, it was super humid. Uh, it was hot as well, but fortunately there was a bit of cloud cover. But uh, climbing up to Grisdale Tarn was ridiculously hot. Coming down over the other side of Grisdale to Grasmere, this is maybe like 25 to 30k into the race. Um, it was so rocky and it was like really battering the bottom of my feet and, and as you're coming down and getting back into civilization in Grasmere where the, the people sat in cafes having uh, ice creams and coffees and things like that it's, and then you kind of get into your head I've still got another 25 kilometers to do here it's uh, it takes a little bit of determination to get going again there. I, did, I didn't do the food stops particularly well. Um, I had things in my bag and, and I took my own sandwiches and I was eating as, a, as I was going, making sure I took uh, salt stick, salt tablets every, uh, every hour and I think they kept me pretty fresh. I absolutely covered myself in factor 50 and so I didn't get sunburn at all and that probably helped with staying, you know, not feeling too grotty, uh, hydrated pretty well all the way around. So I got all that aspect right and uh, uh, using the running poles really helped, you know, you get more oxygen in, in, into your lungs when you're, when you're standing tall, when you're standing upright. and. Uh, yeah, so so all of that went pretty well. Um, it was a great event and fantastic getting back. I suffered the worst cramp I've ever had before. I was trying to get to sleep. I think every major muscle in both legs cramped up at the same time. So it took a little while, uh, but then uh, you know it was a nice it was nice to go to the. Uh, kind of like after show party on the Sunday uh, meet up with my friend Dan who did the, the 100k uh, and finished uh, joint 6th place which was absolutely
absolutely brilliant. Uh, done so well, raised a lot of money for charity, and it's just uh, great to catch up with uh, him and his girlfriend Jess. Uh, so, uh, <coughs> so yesterday, yeah, just got to open the legs up, finish fifth place out of you know forty odd. Becca, first lady again, and uh, just heading out for a little walk today. Um, Christian's here all week from Austria, so uh, got a few activities planned. Probably not so much running or anything, but uh, walks here, Rosebery Top in round to Captain Cook's monument and back. A bit of Sunday dinner as you do, and uh, a couple of other walks planned. Probably head over the lakes in the midweek take the training from there and then it's on to the thinking about the big one so because we've got a 58 kilometers it means uh, I don't have another 22 on top of that to do and although I was like really tired at the end of the 55 it's like I think you mentally prepare to be running somewhere around the distance that, that you're going to do uh, so by the time you get to the end it's like you know that's it done but having uh, 80 80 kilometers in your head hopefully uh, hopefully you can plan uh, longer term in, in your head and actually you know dig in get that distance in um, there's there was 2500 meters of climbing last week and there's just over 4,000 on the lakes in a day but by the time you've got down into Ambleside you've done marathon distance already and 75% of the climbing so um, so the terrain gets a little easier after that. I've still got a wreck here but um, there's not so much climbing after that and the, the paths will be a little bit more forgiven Granted, it will also be night time, um, so the next prep is to get get those recce's in for that, and uh, hopefully uh, everything will be great. Yes, prefer content, but funny content. But now the but we can generally the most famous ones are Alberto and Rebecca. That was the day. And, uh, yeah, so we're gonna crack on now. Finish off our walk. Get a nice bit of food.